the point I want to make, though, is if you add up the masses of those quarks, right. they're much less than the mass of the proton. So what's going on here? They make up the proton, and yet the proton is much heavier than its ingredients. Right. Answer is, there's another contribution to the mass, which has nothing to do with the Higgs field, which oh. is... The thing oh. we were talking about before, the oh. energy in the glue oh, that's holding the, the quarks ah. together. Oh, the gluonic force. There's energy mm. holding them together equals mc squared. There's mass associated with that energy. And most of the mass of the proton is coming from the glue that's holding the quarks together. So why does most of what we call mass come from motion and fields rather than from the tiny constituents themselves? Consider a proton, the workhorse of ordinary matter. Its two up quarks and one down quark have small masses, measured in a few million electron volts each, yet the proton tips the scales at about 938 mV. The difference is not an accounting error. It's energy stored in the strong interaction, the restless kinetic energy of quarks confined to an impossibly small space, and the energy of gluon fields binding them. Einstein's relation doesn't just convert units. It asserts that energy is mass. Lattice QCD a supercomputer approach that solves the equations of the strong force numerically reproduces the proton's mass from first principles. Give it the quark masses and the strength of the strong force, and out comes a proton of the right heft. The lesson is stark.